As I speak, it is hosting a special guest, the King of Bhutan, Jigme Wongchuk. This morning, he arrived in New Delhi for a three-day visit, a visit aimed at bolstering bilateral ties and opening new avenues of cooperation. Jigme Wongchuk, in fact, has been here on the invitation of the Indian president. He was received by the Indian External Affairs Minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, a move that reflected the importance that New Delhi attaches to the visit. On Tuesday, the Bhutanese king will be holding talks with President Draupadi Murmu and the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi. Reports say the talks will focus on reviving the entire gamut of bilateral ties and further advance the partnership that the two countries share vis-a-vis -vis economic and development cooperation. Now, this visit has been in the works for quite some time now and is likely to be followed by the visit of another neighboring leader, the Prime Minister of Nepal. And the timing of these visits is intriguing. They come right after a statement made by the Prime Minister of Bhutan, Lote Shering. Last month, he gave an interview to a Belgian daily where he said that China has a say in the Doklam issue, much like India and Bhutan. Let me quote his exact statement. Doklam is a junction point between India, China and Bhutan. It is not up to Bhutan alone to solve the problem. We are three. There is no big or small country. There are three equal countries, each counting for a third. In other words, what the Bhutanese leader meant was that China is an equal stakeholder in the boundary issue as much as India. And these comments sparked some huge concerns that Bhutan could be tilting towards China, that it might be ready to cede territory to Beijing. And here's why this is concerning. Doklam is the very same place where India and China came near to a military conflict. This happened in 2017. China was trying to extend an illegally constructed road and stretch to areas adjacent to Doklam. Indian troops halted the construction. The standoff lasted two months. Some of these areas are in Bhutan, while others sit right on India's border with Bhutan. So basically, Doklam and its adjacent regions overlook parts of India. And a Chinese presence here poses a grave security threat. For the longest time, Bhutan was on India's side. Its position was the same as New Delhi's. But that appears to be changing gradually. The latest statement by the Bhutanese Prime Minister is proof. Now, the King of Bhutan is in New Delhi and the Chinese shadow looms large over his visit. Remember, India is Bhutan's largest trading partner. India also trains Bhutanese diplomats not to mention provide economic support. So with all that New Delhi does for Thimpu, there is going to be every reason for India to seek clarity from Bhutan on its stance with China, especially in the backdrop of the statement made by the Bhutanese Prime Minister. And as for China, it's not just Bhutan which it is trying to woo. Off late, Beijing has been on a diplomatic overdrive of sorts, especially its leader, Xi Jinping, he is holding one meeting after another. Two weeks back, he went to Moscow. He met the Russian president, a visit that was aimed at flaunting China's alliance with Russia. Everyone thought he would sit idle after this visit, but that did not happen. On the 31st of March, Xi Jinping met three visiting world leaders, three of them. The Spanish president, Pedro Sanchez, the Singaporean prime minister, Lee Sin Lung, and the Malaysian prime minister as well. Three meetings that affirmed Beijing's interest in presenting itself as the new force in international relations. All three leaders were in China for the Bo Forum for Asia, held annually in Henan and dubbed the World Economic Forum Conference of Asia. 
All these meetings, along with the Bhutanese Prime Minister's statement, indicate that China is certainly trying to up its game when it comes to diplomacy, that it has gotten rid of its previous wolf warrior style of diplomacy, and is now trying to pull countries back into its ambit. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.